kingdom will break in pieces and crush all others, whereas you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron. Now remember, potter's clay is what? To form a pot, to form pottery, you need they use water, right? They put the water on it, they keep it soft till they put it in the kiln where they harden it. So please understand, this, this is a part that it never evaded me. I just never paid attention. This is wet clay. There's a reason that it's wet. Hopefully we'll get into that. The kingdom shall be divided, and yet the strength of iron will be in it, just as you saw the iron mixed with ceramic clay, and as the toes of the feet were partly iron and partly of clay, so the kingdom will be partly strong and partly fragile. Partly strong and partly fragile. As you saw iron mixed with ceramic clay, now this is important, they will mingle with the seed of men, but they will not adhere to one another. In other words, the kings are going to get men, common people we call them, involved, but the common people are not going to be mingling with the political leaders. I'm going to let that sink in. Okay? What will, the, what will the political leaders of the time of the end be doing? The answer is hardness, war, fighting, stirring fighting. So what they do, they divide the kingdom. The kingdom is divided. It's strong in that the political leaders control the iron. It's weak in that the common people are the clay. Stay with me. Are you, are you still here? Say yes. Just as iron is not mixed with clay. Now, this is the part that I love. This is my favorite part of this verse. In the days of these kings, I feel the anointing right now. <laughs> shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed? In the days of these kings, 